Hello YouTube, this is Ready Set Xplay, and we're going to be doing Aralus from Trihack Me, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. But it is a fun room where, in my opinion, enumeration is key to solving this machine. So we start by finding a Samba share that has a lot of directories and files, but through some frequency analysis, we find a private RSA key. We use that key to gain initial access to the machine, and then we see that the capabilities are set to run TCP dump, which is a packet capture, and we use that to capture even more credentials to move laterally. And then through a pseudo misconfiguration, we see that we can uh, run a bash script that runs Ansible playbook uh, of uh, some YAML files. YAML files. And yeah, I think that thing I'm pronouncing it right, sorry about that, but anyway, uh, we see that we can write to one of those files through access control list and we use that to get uh, a root access to the machine. So without further ado, I'll get started. And first thing I'll do is going to run and map. So dash V for verbose output, dash SV to enumerate versions, dash SC to run the default script, dash ON. I'm going to save it to a file called nmap.txt, and that's the IP address. I usually do dash P dash to run all ports, but uh, we don't need it in this particular case, and it can take a while to scan. I already scanned it for, uh, you know, some time's sake, and we have a couple of ports open. We have port FTP. I mean, port 21 running FTP. This is not, uh, this is a known non vulnerable version, so we won't spend too much time on it. Uh, Nmap does a great job at telling us anonymous access is allowed so that we can check that out. We have OpenSSH uh, running on port 22, and so it's good to know in case we need to have some kind of SSH access later. We have a port 80 running HTTP and port 443 running HTTPS. We have port 139 and 445, which is running Samba. So, you know, we got some good information here. So this is kind of where the enumeration begins. The more ports, the more enumerations we have to do. So I like to start with FTP. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see. What is the IP address? Probably should remember that, right? There you go. Clear that. Alt Shift S, call this FTP. FTP, and we are connected, so we could just type anonymous. No password, we're logged in. And we have a directory called pub. Let's go there. Check that out. Nothing there. So, can't do much here. And next thing to do, check out the sites. See, it's a standard testing one, two, three. Um, and this is funny. This is going to come in handy later. Not handy, but you'll see what I mean. So it's just like some kind of standard CentOS page. Are you the administrator? Um, we can look at the source. Always a good habit to look at the source, but usually this default page doesn't have anything. Uh, another thing to try is HTTPS. Sometimes they could be running different pages. And unfortunately, this one doesn't have anything either. So, um, can't do much there. I could run Goldbuster, but I'll save you some time. Goldbuster doesn't find anything. So, we can move on to SMB. So, we can run SMB to see if, we, if there are any shares we can access. So, uh, for anonymous access, just press enter to leave the password blank. And we have these two are uh, default, um, and we have this share right here. Um, so let's access it and see what we have. So, and now, same thing, blank password, and we're logged in. If we do dir, we have a lot. First thing that stands out is this SSH directory. If we try to go in, uh, we're in. Denied. So, can't do much there. Um, so we have a lot of directories here. Uh, we can try mounting. Let's see, make directory temp. We're going to do sudo mount, uh, I think it's dash t c i f s uh, 10.10.80.148 uh, temporary 
I'm just going to copy it because it's easier. Temporary share to temp. And don't put anything here. And it um, didn't work. Give me an error. Uh, let's see. So another thing, another quick thing I like to do, because I don't want to go through the trouble, troubleshooting right now, is we make the directory. Let's go into the directory. We can log in again. And blank password. We could just recursively download everything. Hopefully it's not too much. So recurse on prompt off this is so that I don't have to keep pressing yes every time and get and we get everything so get in file we also could have see these two are denied we have these here and then you see we have an interesting one message to Simon let's call this SMB control shift T to open up a new tab make that bigger we can probably or checking out our directory ah oh, there you go not everything is downloaded i believe but we can read that message so simeon simeon oh, i'm sorry i hope i'm and uh, message to go call him yes simeon to i want to say i keep wanting to say simon so stop messing with your home directory your moving files and projects and directories and securely yep just make a folder in your app directory good to know also, your password is insecure. So usually this could mean, you know, they have a weak password. We can try Hydra, see if they have SSH access, right? Uh, could you please change it? It's all over the place now. It's good. I wonder if that means something. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. And Theodore. So we have two possible users on this machine, right? So uh, let's see. Did you finish downloading yet? Almost there. Paragraph 6. So as you see, we have a lot of files, and going through all of these files um, manually during using SMB can be a pain. So which is why you either mount or you just download everything. I wonder why my mount wasn't working. I'm sure it's something silly that I missed or that I'm missing. But anyway, we're almost done, and then we can hopefully find something useful. But yeah, see, look, chapter eight paragraph eight so a lot to go through oh we're on paragraph nine so it looks like we are just about done and almost there there's a lot of text there we go we finish let's just exit for now move over here so we could do a bit of frequency analysis it mentions password so we can use grep to grab a bunch of different things so in this case i'm gonna do grep dash r for recursively and any and dash i to match all cases lower and upper so we are looking at password or pass in case it's pass wd or key or secret we can start there and we got our first match we knew that was there and this is interesting right here private rsa key it's on this file so imagine going manually through every single chapter every uh, directory there every text because it, and eventually we found it on chapter seven so let's cut that file and it's in Laurent ipsum and we have an encrypted rsa key so let's copy this let's go back id rsa uh, let's set the permissions now but it is encrypted um we're done here call this ssh so we can do we can locate ssh to john right here python 3 ssh to john um I don't know, I just don't like those. IDRSA, and we're gonna just so you can see what it looks like. Looks like that hash, and we could copy all this, but I'm gonna send it to a hash file. And now we could use John instead of hash. We could use hashcat too, but I'm gonna use John. And oh, I cracked it for the blog. Um, I think 
we can do dash dash show. There we go. We have testing one, two, three. And if you remember, that was on that website. So then if you're on this path, it doesn't take long to, long to crack. So, oh, okay. That was weird. Anyway, um, so we have this password and save it. And we could try it. Uh, neon Theodore. And we know that this belongs to Simeon, Simeon, because uh, I was that where the dealer was talking about that directory. So I forgot the IP address again. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. So I uh, cat creds creds. We could also could have used Hydra to brute force these two for a quick if we weren't sure, but it's also easy to try. So sh dash i, and we have the IP address. And I just realized I saved the usernames, but I believe it was testing one, two, three. And we're in. Um, creds, keep that username, testing, one, two, three. There we go. Close that. So we have access to the machine and we have the home directory, which, like I said, based on the note, we knew it was uh, sign me in. So let's see. Now we can look at the SH directory. We couldn't before, authorized keys. So probably not much to do here. We can do some light enumeration. We can look at the home directory, automation. We have two more users. We don't have access to either or. We could do just some standard stuff like sudo -l. Uh, now that was the RSA passphrase. Is it the same as the password? It's not. I cancel it. All right, so testing, one, two, three, just to make sure I'm not making a typo. And it's not. So, and we know Theodore was yelling at our user be, um, to not use weak passwords. So we can assume Theodore is not using that password. It'd be silly if it was. So, anyway, we can, you know, check other things. We can check for binaries. Uh, but when doing basic enumeration, uh, a couple of things I like to check. And one of them is capabilities. All right, um, and we could do hack tricks uh, capabilities right here, and I believe the command is so essentially these are um, like binaries commands that we can run with elevated privileges, right? Um, and if we do, I think it's get cap for get capabilities. We have this command right here, right? So um, minimize this. So what's other basic privilege escalation we could do? And this is how I found originally because I always do these. Find anything with permission set UID binary. Type F. You know, that's especially if someone here is not used to doing basic um, privilege escalation. Just to see if there's anything that stands out. We have PKXX. Oh, I wonder if this machine is vulnerable to... Kit. I didn't try it, but you know, I'll stick to the path we're supposed to. Probably not. Usually try hack me patches these things before release, at least I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. If it is or isn't, it's not that. It's fun to do it the intended way. Um, at least what I think, but I'm pretty sure it's the intended way. Um, anyway, so we can run that command, get capabilities. And the one that stands out, some of these are standard, like ping, ping, R ping. But the one that stands out to me always is um, TCP dump. There's other ones like Python that you can look into. But this one, uh, usually if you try to run TCP dump, um, you can't. It has to be run with elevated privileges. Uh, but when this is set, that means we can run it. So what to do from here? We know two things. 
we know that port 21 and 80 are an encrypted ports, right? Um, another way to find it, to copy our PSPY, and we can download this to this machine. Playing around with Pwncat speaking up. Um, I think it's ID RSA, um, PSPY, and man, I'm really bad at remembering this IP address. There we go. And it's Sineon at that. And we're going to put this in the temp directory. Did I do that right? I did. Okay. I always mix the order of those two. And we it's transferring. And let's just SSH in. Because uh, uh, this is the way I figured it out. I saw the capabilities. And usually that means we have to capture something. Usually it means credentials. So oh, it's taking a little bit. Am I still running? Okay. It's just taking its time, I guess. Let's try that again. So we wait for that. I mean, I could probably... Yeah, there it is. chmod PSPY so let's run this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just wait for that, I guess. It'll run eventually. And, oh, perfect, right here. So we see this right here. So there's this Python script running on from Theodore's directory called test dub 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 authorization. So I was mentioning the ports for TCP dump, for FTP, and port 80, which are unencrypted protocols. And we can, could have gone through both, but in this case, this points to a dub dub dub. So we're gonna be looking at port 80, and that is how you find it. So if you're not sure, like right now, I don't need you anymore. Um, we can look at uh, TCP dump, listen, port, port, 80. Um, let's see, you? Yeah, I think it's this one, right here. So we can see, you need to run in a pseudo, but in our case, we don't. So we're gonna use this speed dump, and I'm gonna do that VV for more verbose. And actually, I'm gonna change this. We could run it on that, but I was like running on any. And we just have to wait. And hopefully we get a hit. Um, you know, we know that that script will run. And I was hoping to run PSPY. So control shift T. Please tell me I can SSH in. Um, at least I hope, because this would really kill the video if I can, but not really. I would just have to reset the machine. Oh, there we go. We got a hit. And we get somebody's, Theodore is probably doing basic authorization here. This is base64. Nothing crazy. Okay, fine. Um, that's why. That's not the IP address. Oh, that's silly. Right? Yeah, that's not the IP address. Whoops, that's why. Silly me. Ignored every what I was trying to do there. Anyway, we can decode this and we have the credentials right there. So um, let's save those. Let's deal door. And we can try a stage into the machine with the right IP address. C 
Preds. Sage Diodor. Fix that. Uh, yeah, see, it was working. It's just me being dumb. Anyway, we have access. We also could have done, let's kill this. Clear, Su, Tio, Door, Password. We have access now, Steel Door. We have two shells, pretty handy. We have our user.txt. So, uh, first thing to notice Ansible. This is the Ansible directory, so it's probably Ansible somewhere. Again, basic enumeration, sudo l. Oh, and to go back, limpies, if you run something like limpies, that could have also found the set, I mean, the capabilities. And limpies does a good job at highlighting in red, but you still have to go through all the noise. So sometimes doing basic enumeration, you know, because I usually do it, and if I can't find it through those basic steps, like sudo-l, to say UIDs, or any files that I own, or my, or my group owns, or capabilities, then I turn to limpies, because it may find something else for me, like passwords and such. But... In this case, um, we have we can run this script, infra as code script as the automation user. So we can cat this script, and we see that it goes into this app Ansible directory, which it was mentioned on the note earlier. So good call back there. Uh, no secure path, so no path injection because first thing I noticed was I always look for path for unsecured path we have this one but this kills it right away can't do it and it runs Ansible playbook some YAML files so we can look at these actually LSLA opt and I'll be honest I spend a little bit of time on this so I was really overthinking it well, I, when I see wildcards I'm thinking oh maybe I can write maybe I can do do some kind of sim link but See here, all these files, we can view them, but we can't, uh, we can view them, but we can't read or write them. So can't do anything, we can't even do it on the actual directory. See, oh, so we can't have no read or, or write access to the directory. So at this point, what can you do? You just run the script and see what you catch. To automation. Um, I think it's op scripts infra and I think it's and let's see what we get uh, yes oh it's this is an SSH thing so this also threw me for a loop I thought this was my next target but no so it's just doing some just verifying the services that they're running and if you're paying attention two things stand out these two and two more files YAML files that we can that is probably also using so if we go there I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the whole directory yeah because you could just read both of those but we can read those and more YAML files and these are the two I believe configure Red Hat and set up Red Hat and the one that stands out if you're looking are these actually all of them have it but these um you know i just noticed something oh <laughs> i didn't even notice that the first time but i should have really gotta really step up my game here but anyway uh when you see these especially when you see this you're dealing with access control lists so if you google something like um, ACLs, uh, Linux. We have this from Red Hat. Uh, just to give additional controls besides the traditional, you know, chmod, uh, chown. And we can look at the additional permissions of this command. Get FACL. And we had two files, configure and setup. So if we look at configure Red Hat, because that's the plus sign, uh, get F, get FACL. We see here 
that the user Theodore has read and write access. So even though here it doesn't say so, right? Only the user and group automation have read write access. This tells us that no, there's more. Theodore has it. So now we can write into this file. So if you just Google something like uh, Ansible YAML shell commands, second link here pretty much tells you how you can run commands, shell commands, uh, like this one. This is, a, this is a nice one. Let's just copy that. And this one is, uh, so let's see. VI, so it's configuring Apache. So we can put it like here. We could delete it. I didn't try it. I don't like deleting files, uh, especially because I don't think we can even copy this one. I always like having a backup because in case I, you know, boofed it, I don't want to have to restart the machine. So this one, uh, whenever you're testing things, you could just do um, echo, who am I? So we'll run the who am I command and it's going to go into file temp directory. We're going to call this RCE. And that's it. So now we can run our. Let me get rid of that. No distract in there. There we go. We'll run our script again. If you did it wrong, you get a bunch of red or nothing will happen. But if we just wait it out, see nothing. We see this new line changed, so something changed. And if we go cat temp RCE, we see that it created the file as the root user. So this is not running as the automation user, even though that's how we're running the original script. This is running as root. So that's great news for us. So we can get a quick win, which bash by setting the set UID binary to bash, because that is uh, one of the quickest wins around. You could do a bunch of other things, but we can do chmod u plus s to set the UID binary there. And we can run this again and just wait, check the firewall, blah, 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 blah. There it is. Look at that. Consider using the file model you run on a CH mod. So, you know, we know it ran. And now let's just go to our, oh, actually, no, what am I doing? So now if we check this file, because Bash will never have to say UID binary. Now it does. So before this S wouldn't be there, uh, which means if we just run Bash, we just get another shell session, spawn another shell. Now we could just do dash P. Who am I? Root. I think dash P uh, keeps the privileges of the user that's running it when the say UID bit set. So I hope I explained that right. We are the root user, and now we can um, go and get the other flag, okay? And I'm curious about two things. First one, first thing is pass wd, in case I goofed it up, change the root password. Only root can specify a username. What? Oh, it's because uh, my effective user ID is root, but technically they're your door user okay whatever um, I won't go to trouble that but I do want to see uh, what the script steel door so home steel door I think was a, I wasn't already there so ls so cd I wonder what was the script that Theodore was using Okay, so simple import request. That's the URL. It sets the header automatically. Okay, simple Python script. But you know, I was always curious about 
how these are run. Uh, what's these? Oh, get IP. So show the IP in the inventory. Okay, yeah. So we, we just have an IP address here. It's probably required for SWO Playbook. I'm not familiar with Playbook that much. Uh, just kind of know how to maybe do what we just did, run shell commands because of like certain exploitations, but that was fun. Uh, anything in the bar? Dub, dub, dub. Um, directory, CJ bin. Oh. And then we have HTML. Okay, so we have this directory and uh, also that. And then we have, that's where the credentials were found. It's just, uh, I remember finding this file and then it's a Apache type hash. You can, it is crackable. Why? Because the password for this hash is testing one, two, three. And it looks like it could have took you somewhere, but it didn't. So that was fun. Uh, let's see. Can we, I just, I don't know why I like doing this. If I'm, HD, I like giving root SSH access. Where are you? Commit root login, yes. There we go. What? Oh, I probably can't do it. Oh, yeah, I can. Great. Let's see. I think it's which system CTL. Great. System CTL restart. I think it's SSHD. That's not right. Restart. Yeah. And now, oh, but I can't even. Let's see. Pass WD. I couldn't change root's password. There you go. Can we do that? Uh, so, let's see. Here were the Theodore user su root. Yeah, all right. So we probably, okay. So now pass wd root, uh, password, password. I uh, know it's a bad password, let's see. So SSH, cat, cat, and map. And now maybe we can do this, root, at that. Come on. Password. And now we have SSH access as root and we can play around, do whatever we want. Anyway, that's the machine. As you can see, the exploitations were pretty straightforward, but it really came down to an enumeration and seeing what's running on the machine. Uh, I like the TCP dump uh, exploitation because, you know, it's just you have to put things together. You knew that someone was, you knew there's two unencrypted protocols. So those, uh, so knew that's the that was the way to do it. It was either FTP or port 80. You could have dropped PSPY like we did and seeing that there was a Python script running. So even if you didn't, it, it's definitely a very real life tactic because you know, people, yeah, probably using services all the time. And if they're unencrypted, you're bound to catch it. Uh, I really like the answer for playbook, just showed more usage of enumeration, having to find that YAML file and doing the proper research to run shell commands. So anyway, big shout out to the creator and um, the creator of the machine. It was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with this machine, I believe is uh, Veneero. So feel free to like, comment or subscribe and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.